Hey there, welcome to a new episode of Trailer Talk. This is an episode I've been wanting to do for a while because it focuses on a couple of games that, uh, let's just say, I'm very much anticipating. Um, before we get started, please, please leave a comment below on trailers you would like to see. I know I missed last week, and before that I was doing the console launches. So I probably missed a lot of cool trailers. Let me know what you want to see in next week's Trailer Talk also. Also, please, please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Please spread the word. Tell people people about Trailer Talk. If you like Trailer Talk, if you think it's worth being talked about, please do. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, you might want to get a box of tissues because that's right. We are focusing on trailers for games that have been, have, have, have been announced long, long ago. Games that we really want to see. And we are starting to worry that we might never see. Sony Japan Studio and the Feather, you know what this is. It is a the third game from a studio that made that has made two of my very favorite games of all time. And probably two of of uh, the very best games ever ever made. And two of the favorite games from a lot of different people, probably. I don't know. And uh, it makes me very sad that it's been so long since we've heard about this game, or of course seen it. I don't know when this the first trailer came out. Maybe like, uh, man, I even know. Oh, oh seven, oh eight. It's been a long fucking time. Um, at least since they've announced this game. But um, this is from the creators of Eco and Shadow of the Colossus. As you probably know. That kid very much looks like the kid from Eco, kind of, in his animations uh, and whatnot. But we're talking about footage that's so fucking old, so... What is even going on here? The Last Guardian. Trico, if you will. There's a game about a kid and a giant beast. I guess maybe rumored to be like a combination of Shadow of the Colossus and Eco. Except instead of a girl, you're like chilling with a giant creature that you can climb up and around. It looks kind of like a cat slash a rat slash a chicken and a dragon and a goat and what the fuck. And cue the Miller's Crossing main theme. I don't know why they use the main theme for Miller's Crossing. It is a great theme and a great movie from the Coen brothers. But hey, maybe it's one of those songs that makes everything better. Please, giant monster, please don't kill John Turturro. Or maybe you should. I don't know. The Last Guardian, man. Fimento Ueda has since, long since, officially left S Sony as a Team Eco. Not that he's not working on the project anymore, but he is doing it from a freelance position as a non-employee of the company. I don't even know what that means. I think for a long time, people have worried about the, uh, the status of this game. So who knows what's happening? Who knows what's happening? You feed the monster barrels. I don't know what that means. I don't know why he likes barrels. Maybe they're filled with wine. Maybe he's a drunk monster. Oh, man. I want to ride around on this thing. It's going to be so sad because you know it's inevitably going to die. Maybe right there. No, he made it. Or he's going to die. There's going to be tears. And look, he goes underwater. Guys, this is what breaks my heart the most. Look, he's flying to some... I mean, he's swimming down into some underwater cave and he fucking emerges out of the water into this inside like right here and it's like oh wow we've gone through this water and now you can go explore this thing have fun little brad i mean little eco dude oh, man this guy's sneaking around and looking at dudes it's like bad guys climbing chains eco style being grabbed eco style throwing barrels look at that clown look at this look at this guy he got fucking owned you're like oh shit oh shit no And then he jumps to his death. Oh, this makes me sad, guys. It really, really does. It really does. What makes me sad is not how long we've waited. 
the saddest thing would be this game comes out and it's just it's just bad. It's just lame. There's a reason Sony was like, no. But maybe they're just waiting, waiting for it to be perfect because hey. I don't know. Anyways, uh this next game isn't one so much I'm excited about, but another I've been looking for another trailer of a game that was announced <laughs> only on PS3. Do they even use that fucking font anymore? <laughs> That should tell you how old this shit is. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, this next trailer is not so much for a game that I'm super excited about, but it was a game that was announced a long time ago from a um, from a reputable game designer. <laughs> oh man, THQ doesn't exist anymore either. This is hilarious. Anyways, yeah, this game was announced a long time ago. And we haven't heard anything from it in a long time outside of Itagaki saying it's still alive. This is the Devil's Third. Um, Itagaki, you might know, is the creator of Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Black. Which is one of my favorite action games. Which is why I would honestly be looking forward to the next game from him, you know? Because stuff that Team Ninja has done since he left has been kind of dog shit. Which makes you wonder, maybe Itagaki was kind of the... The man behind the, the the quality design, but it does have shooting in it, which is seems strange for a any sort of Japanese game. I don't know. They're running on walls, and they got shot with a rocket launcher. I don't even remember what this game fucking is. But hey, PS3, Xbox 360, this game might never come out, but it seemed to fit the theme of this trailer talk. Now things are gonna get even more sad because this was another game that was announced. A very long time ago. A teaser trailer that was showed at a Ubisoft press conference. A sequel to another game. I love! Ah, man. So this trailer never had a name on it, but as long as you're not an idiot, you know what this is. You know what this is. And it, and it makes, makes me sad because for some reason... Ubisoft just doesn't care anymore. Maybe this project doesn't exist anymore. I know Michelle Ancel's been making the Rayman games, uh, the, the side-scrolling ones that have come out in the past few years, which have been good, but, but you know, it's not Beyond Good and Evil, man. There's Paige. He's a pig. He talks. He's cool. He fixes things. By the way, lady on the car is Jade. The original Beyond Good and Evil. I love that game. It's cool. I love that world. I love how you can kind of go where you want. You know, hovercraft. You go to these places and take pictures and hang out with a pig. <sighs> Sweet fucking music. Who knows? Like, it, it's so hard to even talk about this game because who knows what it was going to be um, like. Well, actually, we do kind of know. And if you just wait a second, I will show you. Because, um, I guess a couple years after this or a year after, I, I don't know how long after, there was a video that got leaked that was kind of like a like a targer, target render, like a con conceptual video. It wasn't like in game from what I could tell, but it was kind of saying, hey, this is going to be what Beyond Good Evil 2 is going to be like. And 51. <laughs> that footage is about to start in a second. This is a separate video. Again, this footage was leaked out. And that's Jay running through some streets that look a lot more modern Call of Duty esque than before, but you know, that's not to say the world of Beyond Good Evil wasn't like kind of you know, doesn't doesn't fit this thematic setting it's just this is a, this is a little less you know fantastical than what the Pyongyang is typically but but I, I think they're just doing that at first as like a just position this is probably going to be part of some big reveal and it's like hey I'm running and oh shit there's the fucking a flying ship that has if you look here See the see the 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 
the colors of the like the flag colors on the, on the thing. That's that I think that's the um, the same uh, colors from the, the, the was it the Mamago? What 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 the the fucking rhinos or the hippos or whatever the fake shit. So yeah, that's all we got for Beyond Good and Evil 2. Something that looked a little bit like Assassin's Creed D, but, you know, that's very much Beyond Good and Evil. And, uh, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that, that And that's all we know for Beyond Good and Evil 2. It's sad. But you know what? I want to know more about these games, guys. Because those trailers looked cool back in the day. Oh, so very long ago. Anyways, thanks for watching Trailer Talk. We'll be back to uh, regular trailers uh, next week. Please recommend some below. We can talk about the FTL trailer soon enough, or the expansion to FTL. And, uh, yeah, please give us a thumbs up if you like it. Please leave a comment below. Please spread the word. And that's it. Later.